the world. And Everybody would have bowed down to him. But he came out of a woman's... It's so sh- simple. That's what God could have done. Like, you see, the thing is this night, he was born of a woman's womb, like anybody else. He was circumcised on the eighth day. The Bible says that. Yeah. Circumcised. You know what circumcision, of course, you know. Yeah. You nearly... You were nearly circumcised. Yeah. But if you were really circumcised, you would have remembered at the age of 16. You see, they have to catch you by your... There's nobody can circumcise a child without holding the little child by his... Yeah. And to loosen the skin. Foreskin, right? Foreskin. And circum means right round and size means to cut, to, yeah. cut it, to cut it off. But you can't do that with your mouth. You can't say circumcised and the guy gets circumcised. You have to catch the little boy by... Somebody had to hold your God, Jesus, by his... To circumcise him. Yeah, so Your God, your God, somebody holding you guys. He came to earth as a man for crying out loud. Damn it, God, look, 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 go on. If you, God gave you the power to become a cockroach, suppose, suppose, yeah. Yeah, and you chose a little experiment, you're going to have a little fun. Huh? Yeah. You become a cockroach and start running out. <laughs> and I managed to crush you. I managed to crush you. Yeah. Can anybody charge me for murder? No, of course not. Why not? Because I was used to, you didn't know you were standing on me. Damn it, look, you chose to be a cockroach, you are a cockroach, I killed a cockroach. Yeah, that's not you killed the cockroach, you didn't kill me. No, right. So the thing is, if God becomes a man, he's not God anymore. The, the person who's eating food and... No, no, if eating God and eating God, he can't be God. Why not? You believe in a God that eats and eats God and an eating God? I think he's able to blasphemous now. No, look, your Bible says that he is a, he is a spiritual being. He says yeah. God is spirit, and those that worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit. Yeah. Right. So now you are telling me now that this is God. He used to eat food. Your Jesus. He used to drink milk from his mother's breast. He used to wet his napkins. Your God, wetting his napkins. Your God eating. And yeah. Huh? And your God, you call him God, man. House. He's defeating the whole purpose of why he came to earth. He came to earth so that he could live as a man, be tempted as a man, through, through a period of time, and... And, and he failed. Look. He, he didn't fail, honestly, look, man. Look, look he, he destroyed those 2,000 pigs, do you remember? Yeah, I'll say. Right. Now, look, go on you. If you can heal a man, you know, the transplant. See, yeah. the man needs transplant of a pig's heart to save his life. Yeah. Do you kill 2,000 pigs to do that? No. Hmm? Any one no. Part. Jesus Christ went to heal one person, he kills 2,000 pigs. Does that make sense to you? Uh, he take it right out of context again. What context? The man was demon possessed. He right. said the demons and the pigs. What he could, what, what are you expecting to? You send right. him to the man next door? No, no. If he must, send him into one pig. Because if the, a, a million demons can be in one person, they can be transported into a, a, a one pig. Can't they? A million demons can be, can be occupied in your body. Yeah. That um, that that million yeah. demons, I can take them out and put them into a pig. Why should I? Relevant. So what if you put them into ten pigs or a thousand pigs or one pig? Shh. Look, those pigs belong to somebody. Didn't they? They didn't belong to the Jews. I don't no? know. No, no, no. Look, I think it's irrelevant. What do you isn't mean? It, isn't it relevant whether you send in a one pig or twenty? <laughs> no, I think, I think two thousand. Seriously. Is it, is, it a, is it a difference whether he sends it into one pig or twenty pigs? Or two thousand, or two thousand. Agreed socially, you know, that man who owned those t- a thousand pigs, two thousand pigs, right. uh, two thousand, agreed socially that man who owned two thousand pigs is now two thousand pigs less. Right, so that did Jesus reward the guy? Did he pay them for it? Does it say he didn't? He didn't, because they went ran to the village and they brought a gang and chased him from there. Your God was chased out for destroying those two thousand pigs. And the man that was demon possessed, who was, who was nothing That man, but to save that man, you destroy somebody's 2,000 pigs. You are a bloody loony, a vandal man. Then he's hungry. Go on, he's hungry. And he runs to a fig tree. Hmm? And he finds no figs. So he kills the fig tree. Does that make sense to you? There's a vandal man. A man is a vandal, you go and destroy somebody's fig tree. Fig trees just didn't drop from heaven. Look, in season it will have drawn fruit. It was out of season. Your God didn't even know when figs were in season or were not in season. You today, you go to a fruit shop and say, you want a bunch of leeches. They'll ask you, where do you come from? I say, I come from England. I say, no, uh, sir, you say leeches around, Ju- uh, around December. Around Christmas time, you'll get leeches. Yeah. Right. So you say, oh, I'm sorry. I thought, you know, I've heard about leeches, leeches, so I ask. But you're a local man, and you go and ask for leeches, and there's no leeches there in the shop, and you punch the guy, and you, you upset his uh, 
is, uh, is yeah. good. Then you are a loony man, you are a vandal. Jesus Christ he goes and destroys a fig tree for not bearing fruit out of season. It's a lunacy of the highest order. He destroys somebody's pigs, 2000. Then he calls his mother woman. He calls his mother woman. He says, what have I to do with thee? My time is not yet. This is the same word he will use for a prostitute. In his language, is there no word for mother? There is no word for mother in his language? What do you mean? Every human language, man, the first word that child utters is ma, um, ma, ma. Yeah. And you mean in Hebrew there is no word for mother? There probably is, I don't know. No, no. Then he told the very next word, he says, woman, look at your son. And he tells the son, John, he says, look, look at your mother. He you used the word mother. Right? So he knew the word mother. But now, he uses the word woman for his mother, which is the same word used for a prostitute. Does it, befit, does it befit a man of God? Addressing his mother, a woman. Is that how you call your mother? You call your mother your father's wife. Is that what you call her? What do you call her? Do you call her ma? Mom? Mom. Huh? You don't call her father's wife. She's your father's wife. Isn't she? Your mother is your father's wife. Oh, I'm sorry. She's your father's wife. But you don't call her father's wife. You don't call her woman, do you? You won't call her a woman? Why? No. But then, this... Ma this I'm not Jesus Christ. I had no so, so Jesus Christ has a right? The woman who carried him for nine months? Oh, he is you, God. So, she carried him, she was not a goddess. Man, she, Are she, those things been put into the Bible to show you that Jesus was not God? That's it. He was a prophet. Because if he was God, he would know that he would get fig on that tree. Right. I think those things are put in there. And, and I, I have looked what little I've looked in the Bible. I, I have found nowhere where Jesus said, I am God, worship no, that would have been... If, if I came walked in this room today and said, I am God, worship me, you'd think I'm a nutcase. So of why? course you would be a nutcase. You see? No, but now if, no, no, but if, no, 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 if, if he's God, then he's a bloody hypocrite. He's talking with tongue in cheek. If he's God, he must say so, I'm God. If you are God, then you're not afraid. My son, am I right? Well, he's not afraid, he went no. to the cross. That is crying like a woman. You remember? He's crying, he's wailing like a woman, he's crying in the garden. Well, wouldn't you if I told you at 3 o'clock this afternoon you're going to be crucified? <laughs> no, no. For a cause... If you're God, you wouldn't be. No, no, no. If you're a God. No, well, he, no God. but he, was, he came on earth as a man. A servant of God. He was a man. There are and millions... was wailing. He was going to no, go and go and go and go and There are millions of Chinese who have gone to the slaughter with a smile on their faces. Lord Nelson. You heard about Lord Nelson, yeah. right? While he was dying, you know, he said, Thank God that I have done my duty. Hmm? Yeah. This man is crying, man, even on the cross he's crying. He said, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Yeah. If God forsook him, that means he's an unbeliever. That's death. That is spiritual death. Yeah. If God forsakes you, you are dead. You agree? Yeah, spiritually. Spiritually you are dead. And that's the real thing that matters. God told Adam, He says, The day that thou eatest the fruit thereof, Thou shalt surely die. You remember? Die spiritually he did. He didn't say that, but that's what he said. No, that's what he meant. That's right. In other words, my spiritual will be separated from me. Yeah. Right. That means spiritual death. Spiritual death. Yeah. Jesus was separated from the Father spiritually. Spiritually he was dead. Yeah. That means spiritually he was an unbeliever. You see, when you are spiritually dead, you are an unbeliever. Seen that, but I you, agree no, with it. If you are spiritually deprived from God, separated from God, you are dead, you are a kafir, you are a kafir, you are an unbeliever. If God separates from me, He rejects me, then I am an unbeliever. Yeah, I just... I